This channel's shelf life expired many years ago, but I still pop in once in a blue moon with an upload. Now as we go through these, I'm not going to be telling you exactly which they are. I typed in uh, AI PHP code generator into the search engine, and this appeared in the first page. So it says PHP AI code generator. Description of the code to generate. So let's type in, write an image upload script. And it says, I want generate code, tone, professional, output, English. Okay. Execute. And there you have it. Looks pretty good to me. I haven't tested it, but it looks sound. It looks like it makes sense. Now AI is getting these scripts from what humans have written. It, it knows the PHP manual plus everything that every human has ever written and put online. Now like I said, I haven't tested this yet, but at first glance, it looks fine. Okay, now here is one. Uh, this one is an AI powered free JavaScript code generator. Let's see what it can do. What is something... <clears throat> What's something in JavaScript doesn't have built in? Oh, the shuffle array. I remember I did a tutorial for the shuffle method for JavaScript because JavaScript, I don't know if they added it in the last couple of years, but I had to write my own shuffle method. So I taught, I made a video teaching how to do that using the Fisher Yates shuffle algorithm. But let's see what this can do. Um, write a shuffle method. Simple. Let's see what it can do. Generating. It says here's a JavaScript function that shuffles the elements of an array. Um, It looks great. Okay, here's a free AI CSS generator that I ran across. Uh, um, I don't know if it'll be able to do this, but let's say bouncing ball animation. Oh, look at that. Even when you type, it's got like fireworks coming off of it. That's some cool CSS. Bouncing ball animation generate. It says bouncing ball animation I'm thinking perhaps I've stumped it oh wait here's the CSS code snippet to create a bouncing ball animation what do you know and I would imagine anything that you ask for it's gonna give you so on my own doing research there are these AI generators for Java, C, all the variations of C, and pretty much every language that you would want to code with. And it might even have Frankenstein clunky framework code for you to, to just take. Maybe you're so such a lame duck that you can't even write your own code using a framework. It'll do that for you too. But honestly, this is clean, good looking code. And I it would get my stamp of approval for all of the code examples that I've seen so far. All the scripts that AI is writing, um, it's clean and it makes sense. It is, some of it isn't, even has security measures built in, which it should if it's gonna be something that might be vulnerable. Okay, so here is a search engine term that I wrote in AI mobile app builder free and there's so many there's so many so as the person maybe you you're a developer now and you create websites or mobile apps or programs for people you almost don't have to touch code anymore and here's another search term AI website builder which these are the ones that get presented to you right when you 
get your domain and hosting and all that stuff. So if you're if you're a developer, you might want to get the domains and hosting for your clients so they don't realize they don't need you anymore cuz right when they go into whatever hosting company's back end they're going to be presented with all these tools that make you obsolete as a developer they can drag and drop they can type into these prompt boxes now these description boxes of what they want and the AI is going to give them what they want then they can fine tune that from there it's pretty amazing what's going on anything that you can dream of or already see an operation can be made and if it can't it's just gonna be a, a few years I think to where AI will overcome that that limitation it has there's gonna be a lot of high-end clients that don't want to drag and drop or they're so rich that they don't want to have to go be a peasant and type into this dialogue box from AI to asking him what kind of mobile app they want or how they want it to work there's there's I will I'll give you that there's going to be a few weirdos out there who have so much money and maybe they're so busy with other things that they don't really even want to even if they learned about it that they could do without having you or paying you as a developer they'll still want to pay you to be the the plebeian that goes in and does the back-end stuff and you'll just as a developer for that person you'll be the guy just clicking and dragging and not coding a dang thing you won't be coding anything and that'd be a nice could but is there any prestige in that job no is there any gratification or fulfillment like oh i built this thing you know that's what used to excite me about the developer industry is that i was building things that were unobtainable at the time i was creating them um using the instructions i would get from my client and then what I knew was possible in the various languages that I was familiar with and I would put it all together and make it work nice and make it look kind of nice but there's not going to be much of that anymore the the new developer is going to be a very unskilled button pusher dragger dropper person who's just typing into dialogue boxes all day asking AI for stuff because what we've shown as a species especially in the developer realm in the developer world is that we'll always take the easy way out we want the easy way out so badly that we have now thrown away fulfillment gratification the pride and joy that you get from actually building something and doing something you're just going to be an assistant to AI now you're going to be a middleman basically what the boss man can do himself or have his nine-year-old child do he's going to hire you for that and I'm sure lots of people will be okay with that. It's easy money, easy jobs, sit on your butt, do nothing. Draggy droppy, asky asky. Hmm. I don't know. Um, it's sort of like a traditional Japanese architect. I like to use that example. I watch videos on YouTube of traditional Japanese construction and architects doing their craft and it is it's magical the way they put things together without nails using forces and weights and angles and everything to withstand earthquakes and all kind of structures that last a very long time because there's no nails or there's no um, there's no weak attachment points that will degrade 
as long as the wood is protected. So there's an art, it's an art form. And there's a, there's a prestige and a pride and a satisfaction that those guys get that somebody who is a modern builder who might do, you know, stick construction with nails and other pieces of equipment to put it all together that are modern that might not last as long it might be a lot easier it might be cheaper because it's easier but it's not the same so what I'm gonna do is I guess over the next few years I'm gonna keep my eye on what AI is able to do programming wise and we already know what it can do design wise it's it's pretty amazing. Um, artists are in trouble. All digital artists and even people who work with real material art forms, all of them are in trouble, um, especially digital artists. But once you get robots that have the AI engine in their brain, everybody's in trouble. Um, there's going to be so much less need for this many humans. So maybe that'll be a good thing. Maybe with the AI revolution, they won't have a, there won't be a need for so many humans to exist so that the greedy or wealthy or the very enterprising type humans, they won't need an army of humans to build their empires. They can have just an army of AI robots, uh, which is a weird, sad, bleak future that we're heading towards. But I think we're definitely heading for a reduction in human population and a large increase in robotic AI populations. So we're going to have just a few greedy clans of humans that are controlling these AI minds but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into some tree work I don't know if you guys saw but I posted a video uh, me using my climbing saw to fell a tree and chop it up into bits but I'm gonna be launching my tree service maybe in a few months and uh, I might be uploading videos about that onto the channel and I know a lot of you get angry at me when I do non-programming stuff on the channel or non-computer stuff, non-tech stuff. A lot of you get bent out of shape. But like I said, this channel is past its shelf life. There's nothing I can really do to hurt the channel. And for somebody who might get upset with me for showing something that I'm passionate about, it's okay if they leave. But they got to pitch a fit in the comments and be like, this is not why I subscribed. I did not subscribe to see you cutting down trees, Adam. Climbing in the trees. I subscribed so you could teach me to code. Now, now I'm angry and I'm unsubscribing. Bye-bye. It's so weird. If you're going to go, just go. I mean, don't do the little temper tantrum. Man, you guys on training wheels and temper tantrums? What's going on? I'll be seeing you guys every once in a while. I'm not going to get frequent again with my uploads. So it's just going to be here and there whenever I have something to record. I might even do some more social study stuff and put some more videos in my uh, Challenging Ideas podcast that got a whole bunch of you angry with the truth. I don't, I don't understand why we humans are that way. We don't like the truth. Okay, so that's what AI can do today. And I really do believe that <clears throat> my best guess is five years, maybe 10. But I would say within five years, the millions and millions of developers and people building websites for people or mobile apps and this or that. 99.9% .9 of those jobs are going to be gone. 
Nobody's going to need the overhead of having a developer. Nobody's going to need the headache of having a developer. Sometimes developers are shady people far away behind computer screens that, and you'll never see them. And they're just some person that built you something. Some people get scammed a lot, sabotaged. It's not cool, man. I think a lot of the, the future entrepreneurs and people that want a mobile app or a website, they're going to bypass the whole need for a developer and go straight for these tools that the, the hosting companies and the domain registrars are now offering them right away when they sign up. These tools are available. I think a change is good for all of us, you know. You're doing something that a nine-year-old could do, but the boss is maybe his nine-year-old kid, or maybe he doesn't have any kids. He wants somebody else to do it because he feels like it's beneath him. Most developers of five to ten years from now are going to be people who are doing something that anybody could do, even a child, and they're doing it because there's somebody who feels that they're too important or too good to go in there and do it themselves. I'll see you soon with some tree. I got some tree work lined up and I'll do some recording on that. Maybe I'll put up some videos. I need to put up some uh, videos for the website anyway. Uh, the website I'm developing for the tree service. I wanted to have maybe 10 to 12 videos listed right there where people could see me doing the work.